My wife's terrified about my health. She's always worried. She looked at me the other day. She said, what are you going to do if you have a stroke? <laughs> I said, oh, that's cheerful, isn't it? <laughs> I said, never mind what I'm going to do. What are you going to do? <laughs> I said, you've got to act fast. <laughs> You've seen the advert. Face, arm, feet. <laughs> Gotta go. She said, that's how you wind up two or three times a week. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? I said, all right, there's no need for that. I said, anyway, what are you worried about me having a stroke for? She said, oh, I read a thing in the paper the other day about the number of men who have a stroke and that, and they can't sort of make the financial decisions. They can't release the money from the account. <laughs> And the wife ends up skint. I said, oh, here we go. We're getting to the heart of the matter now. <laughs> so we went to a solicitor and I more or less signed a letter saying that should I become incapacitated and unable to make sound financial decisions, she gets all the money and she can do what she likes of it. It's left me a little bit paranoid. <laughs> I keep getting this terrible vision of me by the sunny window. <laughs> a bit of potato on me chin. And her coming in in a new outfit <laughs> and a new bag. I mean, oh, fuck it up. <laughs> a new bag! <laughs> you don't need a new bag! <laughs> I know it's a bit strong, this bit, isn't it? I know you're in <laughs> So it's me having the stroke here, by the way. <laughs> you don't fucking need a new bag! Why you go fucking Mrs. Flanagan, whenever you turn up, your husband gets really, really stressed out. He does. Uh, you, however, look fantastic yet again. Is that a Marnie? <laughs> so, uh, consequently, because my wife's worried about my health, we end up sort of living this slightly sort of like, like, like a monastery. There's no treats in the house. Never any treats. Nothing. A rice cake, if I'm lucky. <laughs> But I came in the other day and I think she felt a bit guilty. She looked at me, she said, oh, there's a treat in the cupboard for you. I thought, aye, aye, wagon wheel. <laughs> Lion bar. <laughs> crunchy. Ooh. <laughs> Love a crunchy. Just when you think it's finished, you think, aye, aye. <laughs> aye, 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 aye. Okay, yeah. I've opened the cupboard up. What's there? Some dried dates. <laughs> when did they become a treat? It was shit that turned up every Christmas, weren't it? In the long box with a stick. <laughs> so you go, Who eats these, Mum? Who actually eats these? You used to say in the box, eat me. You go, no fucking way. I'm not eating that. It's in a quality street over here. What do you think? I'm thick. <laughs> you out or where you out?